What is up, beautiful people of the interwebs? Do you guys remember that game Slither.io? Got millions and millions of players, millions and millions of views. And really all it was was the old school snake game, but in like a more modern format. But what if someone made the same thing, but used NFTs and made it into a crypto game? Well, someone did. And we're gonna play it today. There's a 188 giveaway going on right now. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel, The Inspector Mind Blow, and leave a comment on this video. It can be any comment, it is just used for the random comment picker to pick a winner, basically. I will reply to that comment and you will give me your address then and I will just send you the 188. This giveaway was supposed to go down in yesterday's video, but I told you guys to leave your wallet address. Unfortunately, you can't leave addresses on YouTube comments anymore. I didn't know that, I'm sorry. So I wanna make up for it today, someone is getting this 188 and with that being said let's roll the video oh also yeah word from the sponsor who has sponsored 188 yes yes hello I'm the sponsor so in order to play this game you will actually need polygon and you can get the polygon or matic network on metamask and with the polygon network the fees are literally non-existent so what i'm gonna do right now i need an nft to actually play with so it's not completely free to play but for minting an nft it's basically 0.2 dollars or something crazy like that something crazy low fees basically non-existent as you can see i have 1.79 of these snook coins and i'm just gonna mint a new snook and error thank you six and a half hours Later. And we just minted our snook, little snake. So here's the deal about the snakes. They're all NFTs, you can sell them, obviously. If you die with them in the game, you lose them. Otherwise, you level them up, you give them special traits, and they can look like freaking doge. They can change. Look at this doge snook, are you kidding me? Someone actually has doge snook, freaking doge. They can change shapes, traits, colors, everything. They're worth more or less depending on what you get but usually the more trades the more it's worth which is how it works so i minted one it's an interesting looking little snook let's just start the game man oh i need a nickname subscribe to inspector they're all gonna know what it means everybody knows who the inspector is and now i gotta pay a little bit teeny bit of a gas fee now since we're in the matic network on the polygon network the gas fee is really laughable it's like non-existent now i only played two games i don't know what happens when you actually win but we're about to find out yeah i'm pretty confident in myself maybe i'm not gonna win but i'm definitely not gonna die this time my previous two snooks that i minted died got burned i can see them on, on open sea i can maybe sell them but i definitely can't use them to play anymore i also think there's a mechanism in place where when you die in the game you have a certain amount of time to resurrect your snook to kind of buy them back in really all right let's play Oh my god, look at how big this guy is. Dude, how did he get so big already? And the things we're eating are also like all coins. Look at this huge snook. I hope he doesn't eat me. Nah, he has no interest in me. I'm still a small little snake. Give me that Bitcoin. I just want to eat the Bitcoin. A little bit of the Polygon, a little bit of the Avax, a little bit of the... What is this? Polka dot. I like that it's all crypto themed. Oh, it's ETH. It's ETH. I'm getting ETH. Pretty sure they're all the same, just reskinned versions. So if I bump into a snake or bump into a wall, I'm dead and my Snook NFT gets burned. It wasn't too expensive, so what the hell? Either way, it doesn't... Oh, look at this guy. He has wheels. How do you get wheels? I think that's a pretty rare trait. We're gonna check out their marketplace later on OpenSea. And look, I'm the type of guy who just jumps into a game, doesn't really read the tutorials and do the how-tos. So I'm not really sure how to end the game other than dying because that's the only way I've been ending my game so far. So hopefully this extraction that's uh, gonna happen soon is one of the ways you can get out of a game. I don't know at this point, but we're about to find out. And when I enter this portal, I hope I don't die, but get the... Hey, victory, what? Oh, so that's how you end the game, you just enter the portal. Okay, well, what now? My little snook survived. Can't believe it. Well, my, while my snook is waiting for the blockchain to respond, let's just go and open C and kind of see what they have to offer so I, I set the price from low to high at this point so as you can see some of them are selling for really really cheap 0.14 dollars so uh going into the game it's not too expensive but then having in mind that if you die you lose it you know it's kind of a big deal if you play with like expensive snooks right let's go from high to low and kind of see the most expensive snook what it's going for 786 ethereum for a snook with wheels look at his doge snook are you kidding me someone actually has doge snook and it's selling for over a million dollars how does this even look in game dude i can't believe this is a thing like someone actually listed it for 0 0.02 and it, it sold for 0 0.02 and now the guy that bought it for 0 0.02 ethereum is selling it for 420 ethereum that's just 
Poetic, man. Just, just freaking poetic. Got a bunch of different snooks, all kinds of designs. We got the zombie snook. It's freaking Cthulhu snake. Got an astronaut doctor. There, way more than I thought there would be. Look at this fox snake. Another Cthulhu. I can't believe they have a Cthulhu snake. What the hell? It was listed for 100 ETH and no one bought it. <laughs> Just got a bid for 0 0.6942. Okay, that's also very freaking poetic. No one's gonna buy this for 100 ETH. Anyway, blockchain is back on. Uh, let's kind of see my snook journey. I got I got a trait. Yeah, I got this yellow trait and that that's it. That's all the traits I got. Well, we gotta play more. Let's play another game. Got my first kill. Let's do it. If they hit your walls, if they hit your body, you get to eat them and grow. Someone just lost their NFT because of me. I'm not necessarily happy about that, but he did attack first. So you can't really eat other snakes, but you can force them to run into you and die and then you can eat everything they have eaten so far and just grow, take their size. I'm wondering if I can get a big snake to kind of bump into me and eat the big snake. That, that would be awesome. All right, I'm gonna try and do it. Don't mind me, just the seventh biggest snake around, guys. Ooh, just had a snake off with this guy. Yes! Got him! Hell yeah. Grow. Alright, got a new trade, guys. I got the red outlines. There we go, that's how you get traits. Alright, figure this out, guys. No! I just got destroyed by Big Joe. No, I was just gonna pick up the new trait. All right, time to figure out what happens when you actually do die. All right, I can resurrect right now. I got an hour to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Resurrect 0.35 SNK coin. I'll receive a scar, lose a trait. So dying is definitely not a good option in this game. So there you go, snook.io, very fun game. Um, it, low stakes, basically because the buy-in price is definitely not expensive at all. And maybe at some point down the line, these NFTs will be worth more. So hopefully right now you can buy them for very cheap and at some point sell much higher if this game does blow up. Either way, it's a very fun and cool little experience to have. I don't know if I would invest a lot of money in this particular coin. I probably wouldn't. I would just get a little money in just so I can play I literally put in like three dollars in, into this game and I've been playing for two days they have the tournament and the challenges coming soon so a lot of interesting things happening either way thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this little game and I'll see you all next time peace